Hi, I'm Kate Code. I live in Margate, Tasmania. It's just that lovely little close networked community. So my daughter, we've just enrolled her in the local school and it's just that, it's that cosy little feeling. So commitment wise, my involvement's massive with community events and, and organisations. I love non-for-profit. I've just taken on Vice Chairman of Ag Festfield Days with the anticipation to take on Chairman next year. So family life, it, it's, it is a juggling act, but it's about that ratio. So after three o'clock till about nine o'clock at night is my time with them. And from there, I fire up the laptop and get a coffee into me and I finish at about two o'clock in the morning. My project of the Kids Ag Awareness Program, Tasmanian schools had changed their term from a three year term to a four year term, meaning that for the first time ever, Ag Fest fell during the school holidays. So this is where Cap the Kelpie came about and we needed a mascot that's for kids. You're tapping into that audience, so you need something fun and colourful and something that's going to stick in their brain. It's not about teaching them or educating them, it's about planting the seed and planting the respect and getting them to nurture that as they grow. biggest thing I've taken from the Rural Women's Award experience about myself is that I can do it. Joining that co-op of, of women, so it's like this big alumni that once you're a Rural Women's Award recipient, you're in that network space of opportunity to meet some wonderful people. In the future, I, I can just see these networks just growing and growing and with useful resources like social media it's to be able to connect these rural women that have for years been stuck on the farm in remote areas. I'd like to be able to have people go, that Kate Code, she, she was uh, determined to get where she was going to go, nothing got in her way and when she did she overcame it.